Kevin Brown, and you watching Bedtime Stories. And tonight, we got a special book, Super Jade Presents New Moon. Now, if you've been keeping up with me, a few months ago, we read Super Jade's A Thousand Year Flood. And that was a great superhero story because I don't really get to read y'all superhero books. You know what I mean? Especially comic books. But this time, I know it's going to even be better because she going to the new moon. It's called Super J Presents the New Moon. And I'm just curious to, you know what I mean, to see what exactly Super J is going to do to save the world this time. You feel me? Last time she saved the world from the thousand year flood. But this time, I know it's going to even be better. So get comfortable, y'all. Go get your snacks, your food, your mom, your dad. Go get anybody who's interested in comic books and who's interested in saving the world. And I think that's everybody. We all should be trying to save the world. So go get everybody. You feel me? Go get your whole neighborhood. Call all your friends. Tell them Kevin B. is reading Super J's New Moon right now. Let's get to it. Come on. Super J presents New Moon. Written by James Brown, illustrated by Nolan Green Jr. Uh, Dad? What's this, mister? Uh, 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 Jay! Mom, are you okay? Babe? Yes, I'm okay. Just a little dizzy. That was close. That was close. Dad, where did you get this ugly shirt from? The next day at school. Good morning, Jade. Here, I drew this for you. I'm, uh, ring. Where did she go? Hey, y'all leave her alone. You okay? Just ignore them. It's okay. It doesn't bother me anymore. I'm used to it. Hey, Jade, that's a nice drawing. Who did this? Miss Price, may I go to the restroom? Wait, I want to talk to you. Hey, just wait. I want to... That's coming from the restroom. Huh, huh. Hello? <laughs> Hey, why are you crying? She's crying because these girls were picking at her, and that's why she's crying. I've seen them. Yep, I've seen them. Then she ran in here, and I've seen them. Why are you hiding in here? Because I didn't want to go to class and get picked on. I just sit in here and wait on the bell to ring. Ring! Oh, well, that's the bell. Where did she go? Now I'm dismissing bus routes 952-876 and 319. Hey, how can I help you? You can't. I have to go catch the bus. But thanks anyway. Jade watches as other students pick at the girl when she got on the bus. Jade, what's wrong? Mom, it's this girl at school, and the kids pick on her because of her clothes. Well, baby, find out what size she wears, and we'll get some things to donate to her soon. Okay, thanks, Mom. That's a great idea. After doing homework, Jade went through her closet and put the clothes and shoes that she wasn't wearing in a bag for the little girl. OMG, Jade, what are you doing? Well, Mom, I thought about it, and her and I are the same size. So I figured I could give her some of my stuff to wear. That's very sweet of you, boo. Clean up the mess before your father comes home. Okay, mom. Woo! I'm beat. Hey, honey. I'm home. Uh-oh. Dad's home. Hey, boo. How was school? God, please help me help the girl at school. Oh, and God, please let these clothes fit so I don't have to put them back up. Amen. Daddy, it's a girl at school that needs clothes and help, so I'm giving her some of my stuff. Aw, oh, fruit. That's so sweet of you. Only if the world were as kind as you. Time for bed. Mm. 
Stop picking on bullies. The next morning. Baby, how did you get that down here? You can't take that bag to school, honey. Find out where she stays and we'll take it out to school. Okay. Jade got to school and the girl was nowhere to be found. Anyone seen that girl? Brown dress? Always getting picked on? Anyone? Hey, you didn't ask me her name. And I know her name. Okay, well, what's her name? Uh, I don't know why you are asking me. It's Amber. Okay, and who, Drew? Away I go. Since no one knew the girl's last name, Jade had to sneak in the principal's office to get the girl's address. Ha ha, girl, you crazy. Hmm. There's three girls here named Amber. Sweet fantasy, baby. Uh-oh. It's the principal. Fantasy, baby. Sweet fantasy, baby. Boop. Oh, my goodness. I shouldn't have had that second burrito. I got to get out of here. Tonight, after mom and dad are asleep, I'll go check each one of these addresses. Later that night, I'll be right back. Okay, Cam? Keep an eye on things, okay? Gotta find Amber. Okay, first stop. Meow! Crash! What was that? Crash! Oh, man, that's not her. Meanwhile, back at home, let's look in on Jade. Shh! You think she's asleep? Oh, Poochu. Look, she went to sleep playing with her wig. Baby, there's nothing cute about that wig. Where's Cam? All right, made it to the second address. It's her. Father, we don't have much, but please bless what we do have. In Jesus' name, amen. Dad, when will we get the lights and water back cut on? It'll be back on Monday, baby, when I get paid. Then you can go back to school. Wow, I, I, I'm I, truly blessed. Knock, knock, knock. Hmm? To Amber, just a few things I hope you can use. JB, Amber, baby, come look. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome, baby. But these things are from JB. I don't know who that is, but thank you, JB, whoever you are. Back at the house. Boom! Cam. Cam, what are you doing in my bed? Uh-oh, it's Dad. Fruit. Fruit. Fruit, wake up. My job has me going out of town for a few days, and I wanted to hug you before I go. Okay, I love you, Dad. I love you too, Fruit. Make sure you help your mom out around here. Yes, sir. Jade and her father have an inseparable bond that every father and daughter should have. What they didn't know and what would soon find out is that they're a lot more alike than they could ever imagine. The next day at school, Jade looked for Amber everywhere. While walking the hall, she happened to come upon the group of girls who were picking at her earlier this week. You all should be ashamed of yourselves for picking on someone who is less fortunate. Your parents won't be happy to hear. Hey, you shut up and keep your fat nose out of our business. I think it's time to teach little miss wannabe hero a lesson. Get her. Gotcha. Get her. Shh. Crash, crash, bang. Oops, I didn't mean to move the wet floor sign. Thanks for saving my tail. Are you new here? No, silly. It's Amber from the bathroom. Thank you for standing up for me like no other one has ever did. I just wanted to return the favor. Wow, you look different. Thanks. An angel dropped a big bag off at my house full of clothes, shoes, and toys. Jade and Amber walked back to class and talked like they had been friends forever. Jade felt good that she was able to make a difference. The hallway 
filled with kids eager to go home after a long day. Jay daydreamed about how wonderful life was and happy she felt for being able to help a new friend. Ring! Jay remembers something her father always told her. Help people from your heart and not for acknowledgement. Hey, sit with me. Hey, sit with me. Bye, Amber. Hey, Fruit, why the big smile? That's the girl who I gave the big bag of stuff to. Oh, okay. That's wonderful. But when did you take it? Uh, her, um, uh, she, uh, her dad came by and picked them up. Hold up, Mom. I'll be right back. Hey, what's your... Jade, um, I need your help. Can you teach me how to fly? Oh, um, Jade, let's go. Beep, beep. Okay, where'd you go? Who was that little girl you were talking to? I don't know her name. Every time we talk, she just runs off after about a minute. Really? She ran to that white bus over there. She ran over there when the lady driving called her. Later that night. Good night, Mom. Good night, Jade. Okay, Mom's gone. I'm ready to go. I want to go with you. Okay, okay. But you'll have to be quiet. After flying around for a little while, they came upon a small building not too far from the school, which had the same name logo on the front of the building as the bus that picked up the kids at school. Jade and Cam flew to the top of the building and peeked through the skyline at all the people inside. Wow, Cam, look. Jade and Cam's eyes were widened in awe as they saw so many kids in such a wonderful place that catered to children with disabilities. Look, Cam, there she is. Hi, Jade. Cam, I think our little secret isn't a secret anymore. She saw us. The end. Oh, uh, yeah. Jay saved the day once again. You feel me? I love Super Jade, man. Because, like, I just love to see people doing positive things, man. I love to see people helping others. And that's part of the lesson that I learned from this book right there, man. Is that all of us have the power to be superheroes. Yeah, Jay can fly and do all that. But we can do things, too. You feel me? Just how her classmate didn't have any clothes. If you have extra clothes, give some to your classmate, man. If you can just offer anything to someone in need, do it. Even if it's just a word of encouragement. Even if you're just telling someone that they look beautiful that day, or they pretty, or they smart. Tell them something. That's your way of being a superhero. Saving the world. You have to save the world one person at a time you feel me and before you know it you have saved thousands of people just from doing something from the kindness of your heart you feel me we all are superheroes and that's what i learned from super j every one of us a super kevin a super brian a super amber a super everybody whatever your name is you are super so go out tomorrow and help save the world do something nice for somebody you feel me but yeah, man, what y'all learned from this book? Let me know. Put it in the text. Comment me. You know what I mean? Email me. Call me. I don't care what y'all do. Just let me know, man, because I want to know what y'all learned so bad. Because y'all are smarter than me. And every day I'm trying to get smarter. So y'all, come on, man, teach me. I'm trying to learn. But yeah, man, that's it, man. I'm going to go to sleep, man. Hopefully I have a dream about being a superhero, man. I like to fly sometimes in my dreams. You feel me? I want to save the world someday. But yeah, man, y'all know what it is. Be you, be true, and be back tomorrow morning for the early word. And remember, we're all superheroes in our own way. Make sure you don't waste your powers.